Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this if and then statement. And here we have a question. If x minus y divided by x times square root of y plus y times square root of x equal to 1 over square root of x, then we are going to find the value of x divided by 2y. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing I am going to do. Let's go ahead and call this equation. I am going to call this equation number one. And now let's focus on the left hand side, this part of this equation only. And here I have just copied it down over here and now we are going to manipulate it a little bit. Now let's focus on the numerator over here, x. We can write this x as a square of square root of x as you can see over here. So therefore I'm going to replace this x by simply square root of x and then power 2 minus, let's look at now this y variable. And likewise, y could be written as the square of square root of y. So I'm going to replace this y by square root of y and then power 2. And now let's focus on the denominator, this x variable. x could be written as square root of x times square root of x. So I'm going to write down this for x, I'm going to write down square root of x times square root of x and then times square root of y. And then plus, let's go ahead and look at this y variable. y could be written as square root of y times square root of y. I can write this one as square root of y times square root of y times this square root of x. Now let's focus on the numerator. We can see over here this represents the difference of two squares. Therefore we are going to use this formula a square minus b square. So this could be written as simply square root of x minus square root of y times square root of x plus square root of y. Now let's focus on the denominator. We can see that the square root of x is in common between these two terms and square root of y is in common as well. So therefore I can factor out square root of x times square root of y outside and parentheses we ended up with square root of x plus square root of y. And now we can see that this and these factors, they cross out. So we are ended up with square root of x minus square root of y divided by square root of x times square root of y. And since we are running out of space on the left hand side, I have just moved on this right hand side. And now we can write this fraction as square root of x divided by square root of x times square root of y minus square root of y divided by square root of x times square root of y by using this fact. And here we can see we can cross out these ones and here these one as well. So I can write this one as a 1 over square root of y minus 1 over square root of x. So our equation number 1 is going to become simply the left hand side has been simplified to this one. I can replace the left hand side as 1 over square root of y minus 1 over square root of x equals to the right hand side is 1 over square root of x. 
And now let's go ahead and move this negative 1 over square root of x on the right hand side. And here 1 over square root of x has been moved to the right hand side. And now let's go ahead and combine these two fractions on the right hand side. So our equation is going to become 1 over square root of y equals to 2 over square root of x after adding these two fractions and now let's go ahead and cross multiply to remove these fractions so that is going to give us one times square root of x is going to give us square root of x equal to two times square root of y now let's go ahead and remove these uh, radicals by taking the squares on both sides so on the left hand side this square and square root they undo each other we got x equal to this 2 square is going to become 4 times this square and square root they undo each other becomes y so thus we got x equal to 4y and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the value of x divided by 2y and here I have copied down x over 2y. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. x in our case is 4y. So the numerator x could be replaced by 4y divided by, we are just going to write down 2y. And we can see that this y and y cancels out. And 4 divided by 2 is going to give us 2. So that means x over 2y turns out to be equal to 2. So thus our x over 2y value turns out to be 2. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.